as much as I love to entertain, there's two things that I hate. One is spotty glasses and two, spotty silverware. Hi friends, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Today I'm sharing with you how I get my glasses and my silverware sparkly clean and it is so easy. Now I have my wine glasses here and I have it sitting in hot tap water. To the tap water, I've added one cup of vinegar and one cup of bleach. So now to the bleach and vinegar solution, I am adding some boiling water. This water was um, boiled in the microwave and then I add another pot of hot boiling water on top of this and I let it sit for 20 minutes and I will begin to turn it occasionally. This is because I want the solution to get all throughout um, this glasses on the inside as well as on the outside and it will get off any fingerprints or any lipstick that may be on here that did not get off. You see this water is piping hot here. So I'm just going to take my glasses now. Tw my 20 minutes have passed and I'm going to run it under some um, cold water and rinse it out thoroughly. So now I'm going to put my other glasses in and kind of, kind of turn them top to bottom and then I'm going to take my glasses and put it on a makeshift rack here. I don't have a drying rack so what I'm using here is my turkey um, basting rack and I put some of my favorite paper, that's the paper that you get from the, when you buy something glass or whatever from Pier 1 or Bad Bath & Beyond. Uh, um, Bath and Body Works. So I'm just going to stack my glasses here. The water is drying down and pulling all of the water down so that will eliminate any spots on the outside as well as on the inside of my glasses. Now sometimes when you wash your glasses and you just might put them on the counter the paper towel down, they begin to foam up and then they will leave. Um, um, water drops and so that's not what we want and so I'm showing you my glasses are now dry and as you see they are sparkly clean it is amazing how clean these glasses can get using this simple um, method of hot water vinegar and um, bleach now I have this one down because I want you to see how it's getting cloudy inside. And so what I'm going to do is when I put my second set of glasses on top of this rack, I'm going to put these on there as well and then they will dry normally. But I wanted you to see what I was talking about, how it gets kind of foggy and cloggy, um, cloudy. Now this is my silverware and in the same solution, I place my silverware in here and I'm just distributing it so I want to make sure that everything is getting covered and I let it sit. And then I'm going to take them out and begin to rinse them off. Now this water isn't um, scalding hot. I can put my hand in here. It's a little warm right now, but it's perfectly fine. And so now, once again, I'm going to get my paper. I love this stuff, you guys. And I can't say that enough. Keep this paper, please. And this is what I use to dry my silverware. Now, I prefer using this instead of paper towels because paper towels can sometimes leave lint on your paper. And this is lint free. If you also, if you had cheesecloth, cheesecloth would be fine for this also. And you would just dry it. And as you dry in your utensils, you just go up and down and the shine will automatically come back.
All right, guys, so I have cleaned and shined and dried all of my serving pieces, and now they are all ready for this week's event. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tip. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Always leave me a comment below. I'm so interested in what you think. And if you're new to Wani's house, I would love for you to subscribe. So guys, I'm going to end this video. But before I go, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.